Hey guys, uh, down in my bottom here, and uh, just finished up putting the first cutting gear on the Foundations Trio uh, clover plot that I put in uh, last spring. Uh, Frost seeded this in. Um, this has only been sprayed once and obviously mowed several times. Um, never fertilized, and for a second year crop, it's standing great. Um, I was planning on uh, coming in and overseeding this, but I only think I have one section that I should overseed uh, just to fill in some gaps and then uh, I'm going to spray it one more time for some grasses and broadleaves. Before I get blown away here and the storm shows up, um, take a look at uh, this first episode of my turkey season and uh, we'll have two more uh, after this one and then uh, it's on to off-season projects like this. So. Thank you guys for uh, following along. Well, tomorrow is opening day and I've been bouncing around <coughs> the uh, public sections here that I've turkey hunted in the past and uh, found a couple birds. Um, I also um, have always dealt with human pressure here and just a crap load of hens. Uh, which this Tom that's out here now, uh, he's strutting away, but there's seven or eight ends with him. And uh, he's the one that I've been fighting for the last two years. Um, I've been trying to hunt him with no blind. I've, I've gone I've gone blind, I've gone no blind, I've gone decoys, one to five, um, to none. So um, I also got permission on a chunk of private that borders um, a chunk of public here. So uh, <coughs> there was three three birds, at least one Tom for sure, back in there. And the landowner says that they've been seeing them in there uh, quite often. So uh, maybe once the uh, human pressure gets in here, uh, they'll be in there even more. But uh, it's just another avenue for me to uh, bust out into after some public birds. So. We're gonna sit here and watch where these roost. And then uh, tomorrow, which is the best day of the week, we're gonna get in here and get after them. See what we can do. See you guys in the morning. Weather said it was supposed to be 8 mile an hour with 20 mile an hour gusts. I don't know if I've seen even 10 mile an hour yet. <laughs> but I'm hunting and the bird I roosted last night is gobbling. So I can't complain. Uh, hunting without a blind. Uh, self filming with my bow. Uh, no decoys. Mostly because I forgot the darn things. I was in a flush this morning, still trying to decide what to do and uh, what birds to hunt. But I'm up. I'm in. He's gobbling. Can't complain, I guess. back in here hunting public birds again uh, this morning I had them coming actually the best they 
they've actually moved in the last couple of years uh, in that one section. <clears throat> and I had an eagle fly over and it just totally threw off their demeanor. They uh, started heading for the timber and ducked in there and never came out. So we're back in here on a, a couple other birds that I roosted last night. So, uh, see what happens. Got a while to sit yet. Uh, they were in this field uh, last night. And then I went up <clears throat> and around it and roosted them about 130 yards away and up on top of this ridge. So I'm hoping they can come out here. I got a Jake and a lay down hen, so. I'm bound to determine to get one of these public birds. They've been tough the last few years, but we'll see if we can figure them out. It is the 19th of April. And haven't hunted a ton, but when I have, got my butt kicked. <laughs> I've been going after him without a blind. And I'm still continuing to do so, so we're going to sneak out. Uh, I've been leaving our property alone for the most part until uh, Gatlin wants to come out. But that's where I'm going this morning. I'm going to give it a try. Um, just kind of keep quiet so I don't disturb anything. And uh, if I have one that I think's actually uh, somewhat interested because I haven't found one yet. Uh, a couple Jakes is the closest I've had. Uh, and that was on a piece of private along public and then uh, opening morning on public. So other than that, I haven't done too much hunting. Um, something about these turkeys just tick me off. <laughs> but we're going to get after them this morning. So uh, we will uh, see you once I get set up.
well. That was the action I wanted. There's several more birds below me, so I'm going to stay here, but I'm going to need them to be fanned out. <laughs> I had them toms gobble to my northeast this morning and caught me off guard, so I just sat down. It worked, but if I would have had a blind, one of them would be dead. But that's not what I'm doing. That's not what, why I'm out here. I want to kill one. Cell film, no blind. I can hear them scratching, so get back to it. We'll see if they come up here or they go around me. The foundation's trio clover plots right below me. If my own food plot beats me, I'm really going to be upset that I didn't sit it. Turkeys are a big guessing game around here, apparently, and I'm not a very good guesser. Well, they've crossed the creek. What I'm gonna do here, leave my seat, leave my decoys, just grab the bow and try to haul that down around the corner and get set up on the clover plot. They're walking by one of my trail cameras now. And in the past, when they've went by that trail camera, they go right through the clover plot and then head east. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to slip out of here, but I'm gonna try to do it. And hopefully they just work their way over there all by themselves. We'll see what happens. I'm going through what we call the boneyard now. I'm on the clear other side of the clover plot. I hope they didn't beat me here. Well, I'm in. And uh, I don't know how I managed to do it, but totally forgot that my release was hooked to my bow, threw my bow over my back, and hiked down here. Lost the release. It's orange, so I'm hoping I should be able to backtrack and find it, but I'm just off the clover plot. If they stay on the same pattern, I hope they walk by here, but... As long as for some reason I didn't spook them when I got up and snuck over the hill. I don't think I did, but we'll see. Um, but remember, always have a second release. This is my back tension release. I haven't shot in a while, so we'll see if I can manage not to mess it up. They were moving at a pretty good clip, and for them to just stop like that, don't know. Actually, now that I'm on here, I think I can see a tom.
I gotta get Gatlin in here. This morning would have been epic, but he obviously had school to attend to, so hopefully we can get him get him in here one of these mornings or afternoons and probably set up on that in the flats there and hopefully come back through there. I'm gonna go find my release hopefully and get packed up and head home. Whew. Well, that's a good find. All right, well. Heading out for an afternoon hunt that could be eventful and just could be a complete bust. In the afternoons when we're outside working on projects or the kids are messing around or whatnot, right down here, below our cedar trees in our bottom. The turkeys like to cross that bottom and scoot through there on the way back to roost. So I'm gonna try to go in there and just kinda cut a spot and make a little makeshift blind. Uh, sometimes they head up right over the hill on the neighbors. Uh, if they do that, we'll just get a good show. And sometimes they cut down here and uh, feed in the clover plot. But it's a little breezy. So I'm hoping that they want to be in this bottom. But we're going to go get set up, get a little blind cut in, and hopefully they do what they've done in the past, so we're gonna sneak in. All right, <clears throat> we're in. Didn't have to do much cutting because this tree's so low. I'll give you a, a frontal shot here in a second of uh, where the decoy's at. Decoy's a little further away this time just in case I do get lucky and they come in. 15, 16 yards, so. There's my setup here. We'll see what happens. been a long time since I've shot a turkey with my bow. And uh, with me wanting to get uh, Dad out more and uh, Gatlin as well for four season. And me still having two tags left. I can't believe I'm shaking this bad. <laughs> and me really wanting to get one. Self-filmed. No blind. That's awesome. Before it gets dark here, I walk out here and show you my setup here.
There's the turkey. Decoy at 15 yards. I'd say I'm pretty hidden up there. <laughs>